In today's video, we're going to be talking about sensory deprivation tanks, also known as float tanks, and the benefits these things can provide. We're going to cover what sensory deprivation tanks are, what the benefits they can provide are, how to use sensory deprivation tanks, and some tips for getting the most out of your experience. I do love these things, they're super sick. And I would be lying if I said I have got loads of salt water in my eyes <laughs> trying to film this bit. Which is pretty painful, a stinging solution of salt in it, so our concentration is so high, but yeah, these things are class, like I'll flip around there right now. Just start to think about everything in such depth and detail, like everything really, because you've got no distraction whatsoever. There's no noise, there's no light disturbances, there's no phone notifications, there's nothing, no email, no WhatsApp, nothing at all. So the depth of clarity you have with your thoughts is unbelievable. And if anything, there's no broken process in terms of your thought processes being broken up by the steps, like I said. So it's a really, really sick experience, but definitely encourage you guys to do it. Just make sure you get salt water in your eyes, like I've done by mistake, because that's pretty painful, but on that, great. Firstly, let's start with what the sensory deprivation tank actually is. Essentially, it's a small enclosed tank filled with a high concentration of Epsom salt, which allows you to float effortlessly on the surface. The tanks are designed to be completely dark and soundproof, providing a space of complete sensory deprivation. This means you are totally cut off from the outside world, all disturbances, your phone, notifications, other people, whatever it may be, and therefore this allows your body and mind to both fully relax and rejuvenate. The environment of the tank promotes a deep state of relaxation and allows you to fully relax and recover from any stresses and anxieties that may have plagued you throughout the day prior, or of course, the week prior. The high concentration of Epsom salts can also help reduce muscle tension and alleviate any pain you may be experiencing physically. The lack of external stimuli can also, of course, promote and increase creativity and problem-solving abilities. The sensory deprivation tank can help deepen meditation practices and promote mindfulness. So when you first enter, lie down, relax, you will not sink. The concentration of Epsom salts is so high that you will float. You can relax totally, you can relax your neck and your head. Try not to tension your neck, most individuals do so because they're worried about actually going under the water. Trust me, it's not possible. It's very difficult to actually sink in the Epsom salt due to the concentration and totally relax the rest of your body and get into a nice tranquil state as the lights start to dim, the music starts to quieten and totally unwind from the week's stresses, anxieties, anything that's been bothering you that week, start to unwind from that. Focus on your breathing, enter a nice relaxed state, enjoy the process, I know you're gonna be in there for about an hour or so, and that you shouldn't be thinking about how much time has passed. Just allow your mind to wander and think about, of course, the thoughts that are being promoted or the thoughts that immediately pop into your head, and allow your mind to just follow them through, wander, and therefore, of course, move on to the next thought, step by step. And uh, yeah, if you are feeling any sense of anxiety, just relax, less for your ability, let your body totally relax, fully, of course, floating on the water, and again, focus on your breathing, really, really important. <laughs> Make sure that you don't lean upright and open your eyes abruptly, otherwise the, the concentration of epsilon salts that's gonna enter your eye is incredibly painful and will leave your eyes very red for the remain, remainder of the day, like they are maybe currently right now. <laughs> it's very difficult to get the concentration of salts out, and of course, if you are in the actual tank itself, you can't just start rubbing your eye because your hands are covered in epsilon salts as well. Just a little heads up. Um, if you have any cuts as well, you can apply a lotion or a cream just to make sure the cuts are covered, otherwise that's gonna sting a lot. And of course, after you actually, uh, the, se the session ends and you exit the tank itself, make sure you immediately jump into a shower because again, the concentration of Epsom salts is so high that you should spend maybe five to 10 minutes in the shower just getting everything off. Otherwise you realize as you leave the tank or you leave the facility that you're still covered in the salt, which is a pretty uncomfortable and gross feeling. In conclusion, sensory deprivation tanks can provide a range of benefits, including relaxation, pain relief, improved sleep, increased creativity and enhanced meditation. If you're interested in trying a sensory deprivation tank, be sure to do your research and find a reputable facility. Remember to take your time, focus on your breathing, allow yourself to fully relax and unwind from the weak stresses, anxieties, any ruminating thoughts. Enjoy the process, don't focus on the time that's passed and the clock, of course, in terms of the duration of the session being about an hour long. Just allow yourself to totally decompress and allow your thoughts to wander and flow. And, uh, and as a result of that, you'll very much enjoy the experience. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and leave, of course, any comments for any questions you guys have. Leave the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.